Hello, welcome to episode 8. Yet again, I was on the hunt for resources, since now I need a lot of gold to make up what I lost. And I found the Bound Goblin, also known as the Goblin Tinkerer. And this guy randomly spawns in, and once you've beaten the Goblin Army, from him you can buy the Rocket Boots, which I'm going to buy uh, in a second once I place my piggy bank, the Ruler, the Tinkerer's Workshop, which allows you to combine certain accessories into a single item, and I have to go look what look up what accessories they are, because I can't remember right now. You can buy the Grappling Hook, which is no use to me, the Tool Belt, which increases your block placement range. Now that sounds great, but it really only increases it by a single block, so it's a total waste of 10 gold. And Spiky Balls, which is useful, because I'm going to actually need them, believe it or not. So, I'm going to craft a workbench here, because you need to place the piggy bank on a surface. Whatever, that works. Uh, there we go. Now, I'm going to take out all my gold here. And actually, I'll take out those buckets as well. So I can send home some lava. There we go. Shop. Okay, rocket boots. Which I'll put in there, and... I'll buy the Tinkerer's Workshop right now, because I do have some stuff. I think the Rocket Boots and the uh, Hermes Boots can be combined, so let's try that out while we're at it. I'm not sure how big this thing is, I'm just going to create a little area down here. There we go. Well, I can make a boulder anyway, but that's pretty much it. Okay, so that tells me that I am not in fact able to combine those two, so I'm going to go check that out later. But right now I can't record, well, not much, so I'll be back with you later, and I'm actually about to do something and didn't just happen to find someone. So, as is usual, there's been some behind the scenes caving going on, and this time I used about 40 minutes worth of Spelunker potions. So, as you can tell, I've got a lot of bars of different resources, and I also found and mined a meteorite, so... I've got that as well. I'm going to craft this gold into my next set of armor. And gold chainmail, gold greaves, and I've still got enough for candles. Beautiful. That is so pimpin'. I look like I should be in some kind of wrap, um, whatchamacallit. I feel like I should be a rapper with this much gold on me. That brings my total defense up to 21. I also found out how to get this thing working, the Tinkerer thingamabob. I don't I don't think this plant is going to grow. I'm just going to take it down. I've been waiting for these to grow, but that was wild grass. <sighs> anyway, um, I figured out how to get this thing working. I just had to take the... Um, Oh, what did I craft into this? Rocket boots and Hermes boots out of my uh, accessory slot to craft it. Um, my Hermes boots had plus 3 defense on them, and I crafted them into Spectre boots, and I got plus 4 defense total, even though the rocket boots had no b uh, bonuses. So, that's pretty handy. Brings my total defense up to 21, uh, in addition to the 1 defense from the Fleeting Shackle. So this also, 4 defense was 4 defense is 8, and 5 is 13, plus 3 defense is 16, from the armor alone. So that's a pretty good amount of defense. Now, I'm going to go continue this tunnel downward until we hit the hell world, and then I'm going to go... Oh, I forgot to place these. And then I'm going to go fight a boss. So I'll see you guys in just a bit. So I realized a bit too late that I'd have to mine through obsidian, and that I am still a pick away from, well, a pick. I still, I need a better pick, basically, to be able to mine obsidian. And technically I should need a better pick to mine this ebon stone as well. But, um, there used to be a shadow orb here. And then it met my, bon my well, explosives. I, I may have used several bombs. I was going to say I met my bomb, but I um, need a bit more than that. Okay, so there's none down here. Oh, there it is. Never mind. Bad start if I'm getting killed by a jellyfish. Okay, so let me show you what I did last time. 
uh, when I went to get my musket. I just realized I forgot to make meteor shots. Damn it. Ooh, hello. Die. Now, since I can't mine this stuff with my pick... No, it doesn't take really long, it just doesn't work. What I did, instead... Uh, no. There. Right there. Is I make a little stone tunnel, and then I drop bombs in it. And keep doing that until you reach the bottom. And two more, probably. Last one. Yeah, good. Funny thing is, these um, these shadow orbs. Whenever you destroy them, um, you get a random item. But oh, that was weird. Um. You can destroy these. Ooh, Valforn. Perfect. Um, I should probably go home and get those fallen stars. See, the Valforn does this. Uses mana. And the reason I'm getting these stars here is to increase my mana, obviously. Um, because this item is actually really, really effective against the Eater of Worlds. Which is the boss we're trying to summon. Unfortunately, the corruption's a good while away, so I'll see when I get back there. Okay, we just, we're just we just about back. Meteorite landed somewhere. I'm not too fussed right now. What a shot. So, let's get that final shadow orb. Once you destroy three shadow orbs, the Eater of Worlds comes out. And I do have a plan on how to kill it. Just like I did for... Man, there's a lot of mobs out today, isn't there? I do have a plan on how to kill it, same way I had a plan on how to kill the King Slime, which, as you as you remember, I'm sure, didn't work out quite as well as I hoped it would. But it worked, so I'm not complaining. Now, there is a Shadow Orb down here, there's also a statue. Let's pick that up, why not? And let me get this onto my bar somewhere. Uh, place it a hammer, that's probably good. fine. Okay, now get this done a bit faster this time. Let's use some dynamite. Boom. Okay, I can use bombs for this last bit. Probably gonna need to. Yep. Perfect. Now, I'm gonna need to get ready for this. The second I summon it, I'm gonna jump back up there. I'm gonna need to spread these all over the floor, or I can do that now. So let's do that now instead. Because these things do take a while to spread. So, I left them down there, didn't I? Let's get rid of those. Whoa, hello. Those very strange spawn conditions for you. Where the heck are they? Ah, oh, crap. Oh, there they are. Whoops. Don't mind me. I'm just a bit stupid sometimes. Okay. Let's get over here, and let's put these things all over the place. Now, the way the Eater of Worlds works is it's basically a giant worm. What it does is it's made out of a load of little segments, and I think its total health is something like 7,500 or something. But since any one segment can't live on its own, its effective health is about half that. Now, let's destroy this orb. And the tactic I'm doing here... Ooh, mythical Vileforn. Hello. When did I eat the Hunter Potion? So, you see what I'm doing here, I'm sure. Let's put that there. And as you can see, this is both a very noisy and a very effective tactic. And it's defeated, just like that. That was actually faster than I expected it to be. That was pretty impressive. I've used it, I have used this tactic before, but I didn't set it up quite as perfectly as I did this time. Not to blow my own trumpet or anything. Wow, that is an amazing Falhorn. Okay, let's get back home. Well, 
I'm pretty sure that guy took damage touching me when I was using the magic mirror. Interesting. Okay, so what's this do? Plus 12% damage, plus 10% speed, plus 5% critical strike, plus 15% knockback. That is an amazing Valhorn. Wow. Okay. So, the Eater of Worlds dropped these shadow scales. And this allows us to actually make things that are useful. Not to say that the bow isn't useful, but this allows me to make other things with the demonite ore. Uh, bar, I should say. And... Let's see, what's this? 55% hammer power. I, I really couldn't care for that. Okay, Nightmare Pickaxe. Able to mine Hellstone. It's also able to mine Ebonstone, but that's irrelevant. Um, I'm going to have to grind the Eater of Worlds off camera to get these. Um, doo -doo -doo. It can be a shame to swap out my gold armor so soon after I got it, though. Shadow Greaves. 20 Demonite and 15 Shadow Scale. 20 Shadow Scale, 10 Shadow Scale. I will never learn, I swear. I move these wooden platforms. It's faster to get down this way. And now what was I looking at? Over here, probably. Yeah. So, 10 and 20. I can make these two. I just have to kill the Eye of Stulhu. You know, I'm going to go kill him now. I'll be right back. Okay, since it was just the start of the day here, I decided to go into a different world and kill the Monokai there, since I knew it was nightfall. So, let's smelt this stuff up. Okay, I've got another bar down there if I need it. I've got another ore, I think. Shadow helmet, and I will need that other ore. Or I can just make the greaves, either one really. Doesn't matter to me. I don't think the chest was 25 demonite. Somehow. Damn it. It was. Handy. Okay, so I'm gonna put that scale away somewhere. Eh, yeah, I'll put it with the demonite. So I don't have any ore to put or bars to put there anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Gonna make another mannequin so we can add to our collection. Uh, pretty sure you have to make these on a sawmill or something. Here we go. Mannequin number four. Oh, that's not where I want it. Actually, I need a, another two mannequins, because this will be the gold one, and then the demonite one comes after. And then I think there's one more set of armor. Excuse me. I think there's one more set of armor, which you can get in... Um, soft or easy mode I suppose easy mode hard mode um, and then we'll have to fight a very very tough boss to be able to get the last set of armor and that helmet looks goddamn retarded but if that that set's pretty good so I don't mind too much um, got myself another piggy man because I forgot mine I put it down somewhere and then didn't pick it up while I was caving so yeah let's replace my amazing godly gold pickaxe yeah, it's not too different. Um, let's go sell this to the merchant. And then I'll go continue that tunnel now that I can mine through the obsidian I'll meet on the way. And this might be the end of the episode because I'm not sure how long it's been yet. So I'm going to go check the video time. And I'll be back with you guys in just a sec. Okay, guys, we're back. There's about 14 minutes of raw footage right now, so should be plenty of time left. Uh, I'm going to make this... Well, I always... I always think this and it never actually happens, but I hope I'll be able to make this a short episode like I'm planning to. Don't want this one to drag out too much. Now, just make a couple of meteor shots. These do two more damage than a normal shot. And they also ricochet. Which is pretty awesome. Now, I'm also going to need 20 of these bars. And 20... Or is it 20? I'm pretty sure it's just one, but you know, I'll bring 20. Why not? For the for the fun. Just, just because we can. And I'm going to make myself a new weapon. Which is, in fact, the Purple Phase Blade. It's a lightsaber, basically. Let's be honest, it's a lightsaber. And the reason I chose a purple one is simply because it matches my skin. Well, kind of. Lightsbane actually matches it closer, but... 
whatever. Now, I don't know if the differences in knockback, speed, and damage will um, compensate for each other or not, but it looks cool anyway. Now, oh, it's larger than Lightspan anyway. It's larger than a large Lightspan, which is impressive. Okay, anyway, I'm going to make my way down this tunnel, which I made, as I told you before, and I'm digging all the way down to the Hell World, and I actually need to dig up three more obsidian, just in case I forget or something. And I have managed to get all the way down. It is much closer in a small world than it is in a large one, obviously. Not very surprising. And... Okay, so we're here. And I forgot to bring my lava buckets, didn't I? Yes, I did. I did bring my piggy bank, though, so I can bring out a lava bucket here. Now, if you see over here, that's fire blossom. And that only blooms when it's under lava. Same thing as the... Same thing as the water leaf, but obviously with lava, because it's in lava. Uh, let's just do this. And it's obviously both it and its drop are immune to lava. Kind of stupid if they weren't. Let's break it here. Fire blossom and fire blossom seeds. That's good enough for me. Let's pick up the lava. I said let's pick up the lava. Now, I've got a few minutes so I'm going to stick some stuff back in here for one. That, that, and most importantly the seeds. Die. I swear, every bloody place in this game has its own type of bat, which is more annoying than the last. Okay, so that's a 20 obsidian I need. Let's use the right type of tool for killing things. Let's close the inventory too. Um, I've got some good side news. That is, well, technically it is related. It's very related. Don't you dare knock me into lava. Um, I have recently ordered a widescreen monitor. And it should be here relatively soon. Although there will still be a few episodes before then where I don't use the monitor. Screw this, I'm going home. Okay. Um, anyway. There will be a few episodes before then which I don't use the monitor, so don't expect an instant change anytime soon. But I will be getting it relatively soon. Obsidian Skull. And this makes gives you immunity to fire blocks. So I didn't show you, but if I step on meteorite it burns me and damages me a bit, so basically this makes me immune to that, so yeah, that's that. Um, let me just check if any of my accessories can be combined. For, uh, actually, no, I know they aren't, they can't. Never mind. Um, so that's pretty much all I've got ready for you guys this episode. So I'm probably going to go kill the Eater of Worlds and the uh, Eye of Stulhu a couple of times and complete this set of armor. Maybe go mining for some Hellstone, grow some Fire Blossom, stuff like that. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and other such stuff. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you enjoy the episodes on my other videos, and actually, I know this is not the best time or place to make an announcement, especially at the end of a video where everyone stopped watching, but I am going to take a break of undefined length from Far Cry 3, so I don't know when I'll be getting back into that if I do, but it's official. Uh, I'll probably announce it in its own separate video so that everyone sees in case any of my subscribers don't watch this, which is very likely. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah, I got the upgrade a bit faster than I expected to. Oh yeah.